Good afternoon, our dear viewers. Good afternoon. Good day. Good morning from wherever you are, from every part of the country you are. Good afternoon. That is from my side. Once again, I am Kumisli Ademola. And um, we are going to have an awesome session also today. The last time we came the way, we took um, result processing. And also, we are still going to be working on result processing because we understand um, the current time we are in. However, before we move further, please, if you have not liked, you've not clicked your like button, you've not shared, please kindly do well to hit the notification bell, like our page and subscribe so you'll be able to get more educative and informative content every time we drop by. And you can also get to get updates as we move forward in making education a better place. So once again, I have with me Mr. Denny to you in the house, and I'm going to be bringing him forward when the time is right. So um, we understand our viewers that um, you have questions. Please do well to drop the questions in then in the, uh, in the comment section, kindly drop your questions in the comment section. We are going to be picking them one after the other and we are going to be treating them. And also we can also pick them in case you have other things you need to discuss with us about. And also let me use this opportunity to notify us that if you have complaints, kindly do well to drop them on your Telegram group or probably you go to help desk dot edu times dot net and you drop them or you can also contact your personalized customer support officer that is assigned to your school so right now um i'm hoping mr toy is with me in the studio right now mr toy are you with me yeah 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 good afternoon you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome. Please say something to the house and um, please say something to the house. Yeah, um, good afternoon. My name is Adini Toyib. Uh, as you can see, or as you can know, I'm the, the editor support team lead. I'm here last week. We treated the uh, use of editor's result model. So that's what we are still taking. So that's what we'll be talking about today. And this will be extensively. And I hope you uh, enjoy today's message. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. However, uh, Mr. Toy, before we move further, do you have any updates from your end that you would like us to know about? No. Um, there is still no much of this, except for all schools in the state should please sync all their students from every time quarter to which because it's very, very important. So mm -hmm. before it's going too late, so they should sync right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the okay. only updates I'm going right now. Okay, and um, about um, the syncing of the um, of of the um, of their data into um, the OG Sarah, um, do you have any caution or precaution you would like us to know about? So this is actually not the major part we are going to. We are digressing a bit just for the sake of our um, of our subscribers, our customers, our viewers. So do you have any cautions, any slight cautions you would like to give us, whereby we have to take the prerequisites we have to take? into consideration if we want to sync. Yeah, um, based on syncing of the uh, student's data, you should be very, very conscious of the full information of the student. Any student that is an editor, the, the student's information must be completed before trying to sync up terms to yourself. Because if uh, the information are not that completed, it won't be able to sync. So the schools that have issues on syncing can as well contact uh, uh, help desk or using the Telegram support uh, page as well. 
Okay. 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 So um, this is this is duly noted. Thank you. Thank you for the um prompt information about that. So um, once again, we are going to be diving right in. But um, please, if you know you have not liked, you've not shared, and you've not also hit the notification bell, please do that right in. We so you get more information, information and educative content. So um, from my end here, I'm going to be sharing my screen. And um, so we can get to dive right in while Mr. Tohi will be taking us through the more practical sessions. I'm just going to be giving us the keynotes for the things we need to do for us to be able to get our simplified results, simplified and automated results easy. So um, I'm going to be sharing my screen. And also our viewers, kindly drop your questions if you have any in the in the um, in the comment section. Please do us drop your questions in the comment section. So um for our results process, we understand that um, in a session we have three major terms in a session, and um, which is the first, the second, and the third term. What the third term leads us into the promotional examinations. So currently in this part of the world, which is um, Nigeria, we are in the first 10, if I am correct. So um, we are going to be taking, when we talk about um, result processing on edit terms, basically we have some prerequisites that needs to be fulfilled and we have, which is the first important step, which is the result setup. So when we talk about the result setup, we have basically six steps for the result setups. The first one being the grade settings, the second one, the results template, the third one, mass configuration, the fourth one, effective and psychomotor domain, the fifth one, comments nomenclature, and the sixth one, which is the promotion settings. So on your module, on your auditor um, portal, there is a module called results. The first um, sub-module in that result is the setup. And once you click that setup, you're going to be seeing all of those things listed on the screen, listed there for you, the grid setting in that portal. So once you click the grid setting, the grid setting is trying to help you and tell you, okay, if you want to set Fabi, you want A, you want your 70 upward to be A, you want your 60s to be B, we have, we all have, we understand that every school has their unique grade settings and their result settings. So every time has actually catered for all of this, for every one of us to pick up which method suits us better. Then we have the results template. We understand that some schools use, um, some schools use um, the first position, second position. We understand that some schools, um, like the KG sections of schools, some of them prefer to use um, they prefer to use um, different probably psychomotor, cognitive, affective way of measuring their learners. So we understand different templates. Some temp some some schools prefer to have a report card that is going to carry the um, picture of the learner. So our result templates caters for all of this, and we also have the mark configuration also. We have the affective and the psychomotor domain. We understand affective and psychomotor domain, what it means. Affective means um, a means of measuring the um, the feelings while the psychomotor is also is also measuring the kinesthetic part. Then we also have the comments in the domain clip. This is the section that you are going to set how you want the comments to come in. The stamp, the school stamps, how you want the class teachers' comments to come in, how you want it to be set. Then we also have the promotion settings. So a school can have a benchmark of, okay, I want it to be that if my students have 40%, then they get promoted. So all of these six steps are the first steps in which you take for you to be able to set up your result properly. Then we also have the result processes. Now for result processes, we have the upload scores. And when I say upload scores, I'm talking about the upload either CA, which is a continuous assessment, or upload examination scores. Now, when we talk about upload scores in this section, we have it in two segments. Now, we can either upload scores by um, combined, we call it bulk. 
that is when you have um, about the, 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 the results templates that is going to come out for you is going to be showing all of the students and all of the subjects assigned to that particular teacher. So you can fill in all of these results at once. Or you upload by you upload it sing you upload you upload it per subject, which is single. So whereby you upload for probably only mathematics alone. You have that section there. Then you have a section whereby you have to, after you've uploaded this course successfully, you have to submit this course. Once you submit this course, this course can thereby once you submit this course as a teacher, as a subject teacher. This is given the right for the um, SPA, which is the school portal administrator, to be able to successfully approve this course. And that takes us to the broadsheet. This broadsheet section is a section where the um, school portal administrator gets to overview every of the scores, then approves it, approves all of the scores. And as soon as the approval is done, it passes the, um, the, the, the result is passed to the head of school. Now your head of school might be your principal, your head of school might be um, a head teacher. We all understand different names we use in our schools. So far it is the head of the school and it is registered and assigned to be the head of the school. So the head of the school does the final publishing also from the broadsheet. And as soon as the final publishing is done from the broadsheet, Everybody gets to view results. And when I mean everybody gets to view results, I mean the major key stakeholders that are meant to view results, which are the class teacher, the school portal administrator, the head of school, the students, and the parents. So those are the major stakeholders that need to see this result. So um, while I've done all of this, um, Mr. Um, Adeni Toyib is going to um, take us through the full process, which is the practical session, in order for us to buttress all of this point fully. Mr. Toyib, are you with us, sir? Yeah, I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, I am with you. Yeah, um, thank you very much, viewers. I, I hope you uh, understand a bit of what she has really gone through. She has really worked on this going through the the, the the essay part of the result module. So I will be going through the practical part of the result module. So here I will be sharing my screen. So I hope you all are ready. Okay, I think I'm on. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Like uh, she have said, like I said, if uh, you wanted to use the results model, the first thing that should go into our mind is that the first thing is the teachers we have staffs in the school so the teachers are we have the subject teacher and the class teachers so we need to allocate both the subject teacher and the class teacher correctly before going to the subject the results module so after allocating that the next thing is to register subjects for students so there we we'll go to the student registration to register subject. But here I'm only talking about the result module. So I'm just take, I'm just saying I'm just talking about the, the 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 things needed to do before going to the result module. So all these like the the, the registering of subjects, then the uh, allocation of subject teacher and class teacher should have been done correctly before going to the result module. So the first, this is our result module. Then clicking on our result module, we have numerous dropdowns. We have sub modules under our modules. So the first sub modules under result module is the setup 
model. Looking on this setup model, there you can find that the great settings, the result templates, map configuration, affective and psychomotor domain, comment nomenclature, then the promotion settings. We have to do all this before uploading any of our results. So the first thing is clicking on this, our grid settings. We have to set this grid. Uh, we can see that on this part, it, uh, we, need to, we, we need to have the maximum score point and the minimum score point for each and every grid. So from there, we will see that, I mean, on my page here, you can see that we are having, let's say, an 100 maximum points, then the minimum score is 80. From 100 to 80, any of the students that scores from 100 to 80, the grade of that subject, maybe the, the, the student scored, let's say, 81. So the grade of that score is A. Then the remark for that A would be, excellent then our grade point for that grade is five point so this is how we need i mean this is the best way to represent our grade range so we need this is how to set a grade i mean this is how to set a grade so this action button here is the place that we need to go that is we have to click on this action button under, I mean, while clicking on this action button, we get set new grid, then set resumption. So setting of new grid, if you want to set a new grid, you click on set new grid. Here you fill every option here by clicking on the session time that you want the grid to be active on, then the, the, the division, you click on, you select the division, then let's say I'm setting for 100, as the maximum point, then the minimum point is A. Then from there, our grade for this should be grade A. Then the point should be 5. Then our remark is excellent. And once I click on save, once I click on save, there you can find 180 grade A, excellent, then grade, I mean, grade point is five, then it is active. So from there, we set the five, the four, three, two, one, and zero. So any student, let's say the student is offering math English. So out of those math English, we have mathematics. Our mathematics, if the student is scoring 45, we should know that the grade of 45 is D and the remark is fair. The grade point is two. That is for the grade settings. Then the next one is our result template. Then our result template is for us to click on this division. Let's say this result template is the place that we select templates for a division. Because in our schools in Nigeria, here we have division, let's say from the primary. Under primary, we have division. In primary, we have division, uh, division, we have the fresh division, we have the kindergarten division, we have the nursery division, and the primary division. Under secondary, we have the junior secondary division and the senior secondary division. So in my school, I'm only setting up, I, I only set I only set the junior secondary school division. So I'm picking the junior secondary school division. Here, I would, here you can find the, I mean, you can find the numerous uh, templates because I have from one to, let's say I am having 13 templates. So I can select any of the templates I want for my school. So I'm selecting template one or let's change it. I think I should select template seven. So template seven is what I am selecting. So after that, the next thing is, for me to select, I mean, it's for me to uh, to set my Mac configuration. Then setting my Mac configuration, you can see that, I mean, you can find division, the exam stroke CA ratio, and 
the, the numbers of CAs that we have in my division, then the CAs as well, the maximum point, which is five, then I want to set my mark. I mean, I want to configure this mark. So clicking on this action button, you can see adjust settings. Now, if you want, if you don't want your uh, your Mac configuration to be like this, you can as well adjust it by clicking on adjust settings. Once I click on adjust settings, you will see I have sixty as the maximum obtainable score for my exams. Then you can see that I'm having forty as the maximum obtainable score for my Series. But I don't want it to be like this. I want it to be 70. And you can see this message. It's showing me that the overall score can be, I mean, cannot be greater than 100. You can see if I'm adding 40 to 70, you can see that I'm over 100. So I'll change it. My 40 here should be 30. Once I'm, click, um, I'm adding 30, you can see 70 plus 30 is equal to 100. There is no error message. The next step is checking my maximum obtainable point. If it is correct, I want it to be five. If I don't want it to be five, I want it to be more than five, then this arrow here would help me. But I want it to be five. I'm leaving it as five. So you can see the next one here is the class M. That is, I want to, uh, I want the student position to be selected by class. I don't want it to be by class M. So I've selected by class. Then this next stage here is saying that specify the percentage of each term you want to use for the computation of third term results. This part is only working for the third term results. That is for the promotion time so because it's going to calculate by time percentage this is first term second term and the third term so here you can see i've already set it that i want my first term percentage to be i mean my first term percentage pass mark should be 20 my third term pass percentage should be 30 then my third term pass percentage should be 50. I have first, second, and third. So the next step is specify if you want a decimal or whole number. Here, did I want decimal? Yes or no? If I said no, I don't want decimal, it's going to calculate my results without using decimal point. Whatever you can see, whatever it is find, finding a decimal point, it's going to round it up. Then the next one is result upload. How do I want to upload my result? Did I want it to be combined or per subject? I've, or I've already chose to combine before. Then this time around, I'm changing it to be per subject. I've changed it to be per subject. The next one is, this part is for you to add. If you are having more than one series, like I, I, I only have two series here. I don't want to add more, but if you want to add more, you click on this action button. This uh, button, add more button, is going to add more to your CAs. So I'm only having, I just want it to be two CAs. So the first CA is, the display name of my first CA is, let's say my first CA is uh, uh, welcome test. I want it to be welcome test. That is my display name. I copied it here. And I should, I'm pasting it here as well. It's going to be my first CA. Then the maximum score point. And please don't forget your score, your your uh, uh, your CA score point should not be more than thirty. Now I'm having twenty. If I'm adding twenty plus twenty, it will be forty. I can see that it is more than that. So I would reduce this twenty to be fifteen. Then this twenty as well should be fifteen. This button, you can see that it's still showing me error. It's because of this 20 here. And this my button, this add more button is asking if I want my CA 
if I want to break down this my uh, this my welcome test, I can as well break it down to be another. I mean, to have another test under it, but I don't want that because that is going to take a lot of time. So the next, I mean, I don't want it. I don't want to add any other breakdown CA. I want it to just be one CA, and it is advisable for you to have it as one CA. The next one is my CA two. I've I mean, I'm, I've completed this CA setup. The next CA is I want it to be a mid um mid um test. Yeah, I'm copying my display name from here, adding it here to be the same mid um test. And this one should as well not be more than. You can see 15 plus 15 is going to give me 30. So after that, the, the next thing I'm going to do here is picking on my submit configuration. That is, I'm done with the configuration settings. Once I'm done with that, you can see the success uh, uh, and the success message, which is showing configuration sets successfully. That then the next stage will be the affective and psychomotor domain. Affective and psychomotor domain, then you can see that I'm having the, the affective domain, then the psychomotor domain. Under the affective domain, you can see that we have keys and action. So these keys are the, the names of our affective that we want to, uh, that we want to, uh, to appear on our results. Here you can see the, the, the punctuality, the neatness, the honesty, self-control, attentiveness in class, leadership. You can as well change the names of all these affective domains. You can add any of the affective domain that you want to add by clicking on this action button to edit. Then after changing the name, you click on save. There you are done with this affective domain. The next one is the psychomotor domain. Clicking on this action button as well, it's going to that you that you don't want it to be handwriting. You want to change it to be another name. You click on this edit button, you enter the new name, you click on the save, then you are done with your with the setting up your psychomotor and affective domain. Then after that, the next part is the the comment nomenclature. Yeah, this nom this comment nomenclature is only having two teachers. Here is, I mean, here we are having, you can see that I edited this last class to be my name. Now I want it to appear as the principal's name. I want it to be, I want it to appear as the principal. Then I want it to be active, save. If I'm clicking on save, I've edited this name to be the principal, then here to be the class teacher. Then if I want to upload uh, a, a signature for a school or a signature for my school, this is the part for me that I can do that. I'll click on change signature. Then here, it's going to search for the image, the image of that signature that I wanted to add. Here is the image of my signature. Clicking on this and I'm adding it. There you can see that I have added my signature. I click on save. Then if I want to preview that signature, you click on this action button as well. You preview your signature. Here you can find you can find the signature for that principal. That is that. Then my class teacher as well. My class teacher here is just there. You can't upload anything for the class teacher. If you don't want the class teacher's name to appear. I mean, if you don't want it to be class, the class teacher, that is the comment that if the class teacher is, is writing a comment, you want the class teacher's name to appear. You click on this action button, you add the class teacher's name. Let's say the class teacher's name is Mrs. Mrs. Adi, Adi Joke. So that is the class teacher's name. Then we click on save. There you can see that this, I am done with my common nomenclature. 
these two names will appear in the student results. The next thing is your promotion settings. This is for only the third term. Now, I want to set for my third term. I'm clicking on the session, the, the program. Then after that, did I want to use cumulative pass mark? If I don't want to use cumulative pass mark, I'll click on no. Then it's going to ask me, which of the subjects did I want the student to pass? Out of the composite subjects, elective subject or trade subject. But I'm not using any of this. But if I am using them, I will have to add it that I want them to pass either maths or English or chemistry. Then the pass mark of each of those subjects must be added. This is what I am I'm talking about. Edit. Then I'm going to add the subject. I mean, the total subject that I want it to be. Then after adding the total subject, the pass mark that I want it to be, let's say I want the total subject to be two, then the, the pass mark should be 40. Here, I'm going to select the subject I want it to be. That is if I am not using cumulative pass mark. But if I want to use cumulative pass mark, I'm going to change it back to yes. Once I'm clicking on yes, then it's asking me that, which of the pass mark would I want? That means the percentage that I want the student to hit. That I want them to hit 40 percentage. Then, or I want it to be 50 for the pass mark. Then I'm saving it. Once I'm done with all these six setup under my result setup modules, then you are good to go. From there, we are moving directly to the next sub modules under our results, which is the upload score. Then this upload score, you can see last time I, I, I uploaded for only one student. Yes, it's because of the time. Now I would as well upload for another, let's say I'm, I'm uploading for only two students now. Then if I want to upload, the, if I want to upload a score, okay, I mean for that two students, I'm clicking on junior secondary. The class that I want I wanted to upload is JSS one. That is, I want it to be single. You can see that is not showing me any of the uh, uh, any of the combined button here. But if it is combined, that I've already set in my result setup. It's going to bring out the combined button. So here I have selected the result. I mean, I've selected the class. Then the next thing for me is to select the subject, the, the, the score I wanted to, I mean, the, the, the subject I want to upload. So the first thing is I will download the score sheet, which is I'm downloading the CA score. Yeah, you can see I'm having either the welcome test or midterm test. Which one did I want to do? Yeah. Then the next one is uh, after the, C, uh, the, the, the the welcome test. I'm sorry, the welcome test. I'm downloading the welcome test. Then I would as well download the midterm test. That is, I have downloaded from the I'm download, I've, I have downloaded the, the the welcome test and the midterm test. So I would have to open the two parts. Yeah, I want I want to I wanted to enter the scores. Sorry, taking you. The time. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. This is for mathematics. The for mathematics welcome test. So you can see that my the, the score I am to uh, to enter must not be more than fifteen. The scores I am to enter must not be more than fifteen. So I would. Enter, let's say I mentioned 10 for this child. Yeah. 
going to go for example I need to and let me just drag it down so. Yeah. Yeah, I want to let me know. I've done this, then I want to enter score for this part as well. Yeah, I've entered their score. Then don't forget, last time I told you that after entering the score, you have to save. Then I'm saving by pressing Ctrl S for this. I mean as the first way to save. The next, after saving with my control X, then the next one is for me to go back into my web, that is into my portal to upload what I have downloaded. Now I want to upload, you click on the upload score, CA, welcome test. Yeah, I want to upload for a welcome test. Then here I'm looking for my welcome test. So I've seen my welcome test. Then enter. Then upload. Once I click on the, 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 the upload button, you can see that I have uploaded for 13 students here. Then I want to upload the midterm test as well. You click on the upload score. Then CA for my midterm test. Then I'll select the midterm test. After that, select document yeah i've selected my midterm test then upload after that you would see that i have uploaded for both the welcome test and the midterm test then the next one is for me to upload for my exam i'll click on download score exam then you download the templates as well for your exam then you open after downloading. Yeah, you can see that my score here should not be more than 70. I'm giving them 65. I said, I said it should be good, you know. And after 65, I click on save. And after saving, I'll go back to my portal, click on the action button, upload score. Exam action button. Then I'll select the exam result. Open. Then upload. After uploading, once you are done with both the welcome test, midterm test, and the exam, don't forget to submit here you can see the submit all scores is the short i mean the short way to submit all scores is clicking on this submit all scores button but if you don't want to do that you click on this action button you view score sheet as well it will take you to where you want to see the scores that you've uploaded for those students here you can see everything you can see then yeah you have this part you have to inspect that is this what i uploaded for my students if it's then i'll click on submit scores yes i am submitting my score that is as an individual teacher that is a teacher that is taking a subject after that then i will go back back to my result of it. now i am done with uploading the mathematics then after uploading every of these subjects because i if i am to do that i will have to upload for all the subjects but it's because of time once you are done with uploading every of the subject the next thing you will do is to go directly you are pushing into the spa now that is after you are this part this this part is to be done by both the subject teacher and the class teacher 
So after this part has been done, the next thing is to push it directly to the SPA, that is the school admin. Then after pushing directly to the school admin, the school admin is going directly to the broadsheet module. Once the school admin is going to the broadsheet module, there the school admin is going to is going to uh, the school admin is going to select select the program. The school admin will first of all select the session term. Then after the session term, the next thing is the program. Then after program, I'm selecting the class. That is for the school admin. You can see that it is asking the school admin to approve this broadsheet. So if this, if the school admin have checked everything and see that yes, this I, yes that everything has been. I mean every uh, 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 let's say every score has been uploaded and submitted. Then this button is going to appear. But if it is not, if uh, if uh, all the teachers are, are not done with their subject, uh, with, with uploading the, the scores, this approve button will never appear. So after that, once the, sub, the, the subject teacher and the class teacher are done with their job, the next thing is to click on the approve broadsheet by the SPA, that is by the school admin. Clicking on the approve this broadsheet. Then the next thing is pushing directly. The SPA has done its job. The SPA can as well publish this broadsheet if the principal is, is, is in the school. But it, I mean, yes, if the principal is in the school or the, the principal does not, uh, let's say the, 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 the principal does not have time for this part, the SPA can as well assist the principal to publish the broadsheet. Because if this broadsheet is not published, the student can never view their results. So you click on yes. You can see that this broadsheet has been approved and published. Then if you want to edit, the first thing is you first of all on publish. That is if the school, if, if the, uh, let's say the result is not, uh, the, there's an error on the scores. The first thing is to unpublish. Click on unpublish. Then you go back to your upload score and edit whatever you want to change. So my scores are completed. Publish the virtues. And I'm done. Then after that, the next thing is for the class teacher to go and print results for the students. You can print your results in bulk. Yeah, you can see that you can print your results in, in bulk. But here, this, this is the student that I, I have uh, printed his own result. So this is the result of this student you can see this is my my signature this is the principal's signature as well yeah that's all time begins and time ends. yes this part as well i mean i'm done with this uploading of results and the likes uploading of results i'm done with that the next thing is for us to go directly to our grade settings, I want to set resumption dates. Let's say my school is closing today. Then my school will be opening by next week Monday. But 
should resume on Saturday. Yeah, I've said that. That is, this is, I mean, the, under the, the grid settings, the action button in front of that grid range, then you can find set resumption date. Here you can set resumption date. So after that, you can as well, let me go back and view my report card and see if my resumption date would appear. View result. Okay. Yes, you can see this is my resumption date. It has appeared. So this is my score and my resumption date. My signature. This is the, the, the principal signature. Yeah, this is it. Date of resumption. I mean, date of the, the signature. This is the date. So, thank you very, very much for following me all through right from the beginning of this lecture. And I'll, I will be winding up my uh, lecture now. I'm pushing it up to uh, Mrs. Queensley. Yeah, hello, Mrs. Queensley. Sir, I am here, sir. Thank you so much, Dohi, for enlightening us and uh, taking us through all of these processes to make our results simpler and the process much more faster and easier to adopt. Thank you so much. So, um, yeah, we, however, we have people in the comment section also, and before that, we would like to just check up. Thank you so much for joining in the session and um, we are grateful for joining the session so we'll be using this medium to take up our viewers um, comments in the section so I we, we, are, we really do not have so many questions because we don't even have more time but however we want to say special thank you to um, Florette School we can see you thank you and please drop your questions if you have questions and also kindly reach out to your customer support agents Taiwo Adejoke, thank you so much from the Light Glory School. Orijebu, Orijebu, we see you, ma'am. Then from Wise, thank you so much for joining in. However, we do not have um, so many, we do not have questions in the comment section. So we are going to be assuming our viewers are getting the end of it. They are beginning to understand um, what we are talking about. And please start working on your results so your learners can get their results easily. From now, you should have. We are expected to have uploaded our um, CA, our continuous assessment. So, for us to be able to get our questions easily, okay, I can see a comment section. I can see a comment from Adeyemi Kazim, Araman College, Olambe. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. And also, we want to also use this medium also to tell us quite a few things about um, Edutam because we are aware that. Um, 
some um, some some schools only think it is just for results. However, we have um, so many other modules. We have the lesson notes. This lesson notes helps you and your learners to be able to learn better. We also have the digital um, classroom, which is which encompasses the video sections. That means you can have a recorded video, record a video of your lesson and upload it. And this automatically shares it to all the class, all the students in the class assigned to you. And also you can get resource materials from YouTube, from anywhere you can get resource materials from you share the link and they automatically get it. Also, we have um, we, we have the quiz section. This one is more like the CBT. This helps your learners to learn more as they keep on going because currently now we're in a digital world, whereby even the jam, um, most of the unified examinations in the national level are done via CBT now. So this helps them learn better. So we also have the homework session because you understand that the CBT is just more of the objective where they only tick questions and their answers and it automatically marks it for them. You can also set time for them. However, it hasn't, it can't really evaluate the parts whereby the students are expressive. So that is the part of the homework where the students can take up the part of the theory. They can write whatever they feel and it, it evaluates their cognitive level. It evaluates their cognitive. Then we also have FET simulation. This part also of every time I'm talking about the learning management systems whereby the students and the learn and the teachers would enjoy better and it enriches their frontiers of knowledge. So we have the likes of the simulation. This simulation helps the students more like um game. It also comes, some of it comes with languages, some of and majorly it is for STEM subjects. When I mean STEM subjects, I'm talking about mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, earth sciences, elementary sciences, integrated science, basic science and technology. So far it is science related. There are enough materials for them and it doesn't only limit to the secondary school. It, 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 it gets even to the KG student. We have topics like fractions, where the student gets to use fractions. And it, 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 it's that simple and it is, it is that rich. It is that rich in, in, in knowledge. So we want you to know that there are so many platforms, so many modules that is ready to help your students get better and prepare them for the real world situation. Well, Mr. Toib, um, before yes, we sir. leave, we have, um, we have a question. Uh, we have a question from Ajala Bayo. Okay. He said, um, so we're going to be taking this question. Um, Ajala Bayo said, please, how do we change the school logo so as to reflect in the, in the dossier from wise to the motor side? Okay, yeah. To change the school, uh, the school logo, you have to change it from the from the uh, school manager uh, school management model. So, can I uh, share a screen for that as well? Oh yes, please. We would appreciate it. Okay. Let me share. I hope you can see my screen now. Oh, yes, sir, we can. Okay. For you to uh, change the school logo, the first thing is you click on, you go to your right, uh, I mean, your left hand, which is the setup mode. The setup mode is on the sidebar. So clicking on that setup, you would see academics. So other academics, you see school manager. Then you click on the school manager. So here you can edit the school information both the school name the the school phone number so this is where you can do that you click on this action button here so as you are clicking on this action button you will see update the school information upload logo change to print uh, you can as well print the registration certificate 
But the, what you are looking for is to upload the school logo. You click on upload school logo. Then you search for the logo that you wanted to upload. So I want to change my school logo to be an avatar image. So there you can see. After doing this, the school appears on your right hand here. So you click on this action button as well. You can as well change the school logo here just to make it to reflect on both side, that is both the, the, the result and both the result and the school portal as well. So after doing this thing, we load the page and everything is set to There so you can see that this is this part. You see the logo here has changed. Then on the results, let's go directly to the results and view our results. Let's see. Here are results. There you can see that our logo has changed. So, thank you very much. That is how thank we you. change our school logo. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Toy, for that. So, a quick one before we round up um, in just a, in about a minute. So, we have a question by Elise Sami Deborah. Please, how can we share pupils into new classes? How can we share people into new classes? This question is of two types. So I would only ask if this, I would answer in, um, in I mean, I would, I would answer both the first and the second. The first one is, are we saying that the students are already in the school and we want to share them into their various classes or these students are just coming in and we want to put them directly into the right classes. So the first one is, those students are already in the school, we want to put them into your class. The first thing is, we go directly to our, school, our, our, our student registration. So in front of the student registration, I mean, inside the student registration, we will see the list of those students that we have in our school. So in front of each student, you can find the, uh, the action button. We are clicking on that action button, you will see the options, a lot of options there. So the option of you changing the class is there. You can also change a student class from that spot. Just click on change the student class button. And clicking on that button, there you can change the student from the previous class or from the initial class to the class that you want to in, um, that you want the student to be. Or the student you have already you have already uploaded the student but they are not they are not appearing on the student's registration there is an action button at the top of that student registration page clicking on that button you will see add students in i mean add a uh, student to the class clicking on that action then clicking on that add student to class then you can search for those students that you want to add into classes you enter their name can i share the screen as well just to show that part okay sir but that will be very quick sir please do yeah hope you can see the screen now yes we can sir yeah, under my setup, there you will see student registration. Clicking on student registration now. Yeah, this is what I'm saying before. Like, I don't want Adibayo or Mobile to be in GSS2. I want, it, I want the child to be in GSS1. I'll click on this action button, change student class from GSS2 back to GSS1. And then I've updated the class of Adebayo Apolani 
from GSS2 to GS1. I've done that. The next one is this action button. You can as well use this action button to add students to their correct classes. That is students that are already in this student manager. And you want to add them to student registration that you want to register them to your class. Clicking on this action button, you select the mode A, then junior secondary school. There's this one. Other new student or returning students. Then I'll search. I be going to drop down and I'll select uh, looking for students. So this is how you just search for those students here. Yeah. Then after doing that, you should just click on save. Then as you are clicking on save, it's going to add those students into the classes. That is using this add student button. Then if you don't want to do that, you want to change a lot as in loads of students into the current classes. You click on manage, you click on, wait, you click on this action button, click on manage student registration. Then after clicking on manage student registration, you can see that I have the list of all the students in my school. I'm only having 20 students. The list of all students in my school and their various classes. And I want to change them from the previous class to the current class. I'll just click on each of the students and I'm changing them instantly. It's going to change them instantly. So that is how to add students to classes and to the uh, various classes that you want to add any of the students to. Thank you very much. All right, so um, a quick one, sir. We still have um, questions on from Angela Bio. I said, um, what should we do when the weeks are not in line with ours in the attendance sheet so as not to affect the students' attendance while printing the dossier? What should we do? The best thing is to follow the date of resumption. Because uh, if the school is not taking attendance according to the date of resumption, then the school will be left out on that uh, on the on the attendance uh, uh, on the attendance uh, module or attendance table. So the only thing is for you to just backdate, so you can mark the correct attendance. All right. Uh, thank you so much. For, um, for answering all of our questions. And we hope our viewers have gotten their answers um, from the questions. And please, if you haven't gotten your answers, please kindly um, go to help this, help this at every time submit, or you complain via your Telegram groups. And also, you can reach out to your customer support officer. So um, in order not to waste our time, we thank you so much for joining in today's sessions. And um, please, Start working on your report card. And once again, thank you, Mr. Dini Itoi, for, for yeah. tuning in. Thank yeah, you so much. Man. Thank you very, very much. So um, today we are, ready, we are going to be wrapping up and we are going to be calling TV. But before we do that, kindly subscribe, you click the notification bell, and you hit the like buttons so you get notified when we are dropping content and we are bringing updates via your way. So in this in today's session, we are wrapping up and we are saying please do take care of yourself till we come your way next time. I am Quincy Ademola on behalf of Edu Times. We appreciate you. Please take care of yourself. Good day. <laughs>